previously on the Ardoin Extreme 1 chunk. We explored the new chunk, killing some necromancers and imps to get some best in slots, made 3750 chocolate cakes for 58 cooking, and bought some supplies for the crafting grind. And now, hello everyone and welcome back. This episode we've got the massive imp grind ahead of us, as well as getting runes from the necromancers, and uh, once the imp grind's done, we can begin crafting. So let's get right into it. Now I don't have an exact number of runes that I know I want from the necromancers, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to train up to uh, base 60 melee stats and then sort of see how far that gets us in terms of runes. There's probably going to be way more than we need, but I'd rather have way too many than not enough and have to keep coming back here. So after a little bit of calculating, I realised I have absolutely overcommitted for uh, the base 60s. Um, and also as well with the necromancers, you have to a uh, hop world after you kill one because they take two and a half minutes to respawn and there is only one of them in the uh, in the tower so probably won't be base 60s i might just say base 55s and then uh, that'll easily get us to uh 17 magic so i can just worry about getting my uh runes from paladin pickpockets instead um jagex if, if you're listening you, you might be listening who knows um just add more necromancers to the necromancer tower i know it is you know literally dead content that no one comes to i'm probably the first person that's come here in years but um you know more necromancers please uh please and thank you shout out to this guy who is also doing the necromancers i legit thought i was the only one there is another but um shout out to pork freshman good luck buddy and um yeah i, I legit thought i was the only one Okay, that is 55 strength 66 combat so now we're just going to train our defense up to level 55 and we'll uh, be done with these necromancers. Got quite a lot of runes so far. I mean, I think even with what we've got in our pouch, we should be able to get uh, level 17, which then we just need to worry about like chaos runes. But um, yeah, we'll keep going, get a bit of a stockpile going. So that is 55 defense. That's the final uh, melee skill we're going to go for just doing this grind. Um, we're also very close to 55 hit points. It'll probably be killed just by doing these zombies um, and we also just crossed 3 million total XP um, which is impressive and <laughs> two-thirds of that is just thieving um, so these are the runes that we've got um, gonna be more than enough to get us to uh, sort of level 17 and then level 21 once we get to level 21 um, we've got a very consistent way of training because we can just uh, go to the chest and the nature rune chest and just get a nature rune every however long it takes to respawn and we've got the staff of fire so that is very consistent and then we just need to go all the way to 55 a high level alchemy um, before we start the imp grind we got a lot of imps to kill so I'll do a quick rundown of like the bank sort of things we've got so we've obviously got our big cash stack that came from the uh, Ardy Knights, uh, a lot of stuff from guards, a couple of clue scrolls, stuff from random events. Um, the start of our uh, symbols, that's going to be our crafting grind just here. All of our chocolate cakes in the cooking grind. Um, some herbs, not a huge amount of herbs, but loads of seeds. So if we roll any uh, farming chunks, especially the north chunk, um, that's going to be our sorted for that, hopefully. Give us a lot of seeds from that. Uh, just our melee gear, got the steel plate body, I think I got that from a mystery box, but keep it in there for now, probably going to out it at some point. Our mage tab, got all of our, uh, all of our runes here and the, uh, the robes. Uh, ammunition tab for range, don't have a bow or anything yet obviously, but um, I might out probably the iron bolts to keep training the, uh, when I get low level alchemy for training the magic, just because it's a nice easy thing to keep constantly click. Uh, then we've got the just costume tab from all the random events not got that many from it yet but uh, might run into some more and then the imp loot tab four balls of wool got to be a lot more coming but to be honest probably not going to pick much else up from these guys just because the rest of their drops aren't really that useful just the wool and then obviously the ashes which we're going to be using to boost our prayer and that is the bank 2.44 million so not bad for two little chunks so the way we're going to tackle this grind so we're literally just going to use our best, uh, oh, 55 hit points, nice. Our best spell that we can use against the imps. Um, and it will normally be, you know, the strike, but we're also going to be using the body runes with the weaken and the uh, curse and stuff like that. 
uh, and just maximize our output and then hopefully we'll be able to build up our magic quite quickly. And just like that, literally seconds later, 10 magic. And just like that, already on level 13, so we can now cast Fire Strike instead of Earth Strike. Slowly making our way through it. And just like that, level 17, we can now cast Wind Bolt. So, yeah, like I thought, way overcooked on the Mind Runes, but yeah, that doesn't matter. It means we can use them later when things sort of start running a bit slim. But now we can focus on using the Bolts. And there we go, level 21, so we can now cast low level alchemy. Uh, cast one in bronze ball, just to say we've done it. Um, and that's like our most consistent way to train. We're still going to keep training our imp on imps, because obviously that's uh, where all our big grind is, is killing all these imps for the balls of wool. But we've got the easy magic grind sorted. So with that cast, we are now out of air runes. So... Uh, no attacking spells are going to be happening, so we're just going to be cursing, getting rid of the rest of these body runes, and then we're just going to be smacking them with this staff. I might go get the sword. We'll see. Wouldn't be a proper RuneScape series without me forgetting to record a level, so we have just got 40 prayer, which means we can now protect from missiles. There's no real ranged units uh, to attack us in this chunk, but very helpful either way. And with that final cast, we are now out of water runes. So, oh, we're just off 28 magic. So I think what I'm going to do now is just focus on getting my nature runes up so I can just low-level alchemy and then a little bit of super heat item all the way to... Oh, they've, so, time stamping this a little bit. They've just brought... They've just moved the current castle teleport. So high-level alchemy is now here. I went to put it in the old place, but... Um, yeah, so we'll just be high, uh, low level Lao King all the way up to high level. So this is our method for getting nature runes. It's literally just this chest in uh, the house above the Iron Mace. And it's uh, one nature rune every 8 to 10 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, I think we need about 5,000 to uh, get to level 55 magic. So, you know, shouldn't take us too long. Just a, a nice chill grind, just opening chests. So we've got 2,000 nature runes, that's a decent enough uh, amount to start us off with. We need 5,000-ish to get to 55 magic, but it was it's getting very boring just clicking on one button for ages. Um, so we're going to go take on some imps, and then I'll out. I'll probably out with these iron bolts, to be honest. But yeah, let's get to it. And with that, 43 magic, we can now cast super heat item. Uh, got all the runes for it, but I think I don't have the smithing level. Let's withdraw a bunch. I don't think it'll work. I think. Yeah. Need at least 15 smithing to smelt that. Uh, and I don't have the uh, copper to go with that tin ore, unfortunately. So it's just going to still be uh, low alk all the way. Okay, so that is us out of our iron bolts. So I think we're going to cook this rat meat because we don't really have much more use for it because we've got the cakes. That's our main source of food. So I'm just going to go for the, through this rat meat. And I think this actually earns us, yes, one gold per cook, uh, per alk, which is, uh, you know, literally infinite in infinity times better than the uh, iron bolts. So let's go. And that is us out of nature runes for now, so I think what we'll do is we'll get all of the uh, balls of wool and then string those and then we can uh, low arc those and then the rest will just low arc the rest of the cooked meat. I think we've got about 3,000 low arcs to go, so we've still got a, a pretty decent amount to, uh, to get through, but uh, I think that's going to be the plan for it, so let's go get some imps. It is so funny what these uh, little grinds doing. I'm getting excited over balls of wool. Let's just, hold on, let's just see how much that costs. You know, 123 on the ground exchange, but as an Iron Man, you're just excited about balls of wool. One of the first quests you ever do, get some wool. And here I am excited about it. Wouldn't be a proper RuneScape YouTuber without missing a level, so I just got 43 prayer. 
so we can now protect from melee, which is going to make life so much easier if we get any uh, combat chunks, thankfully. So we got another prayer level from these uh, imps. Um, prayer eagle eye, pretty useful. Um, I do always think it's funny that the imps drop more sort of prayer XP than most things because their ashes give 10 XP rather than the four and a half that like bones do. But I mean, I'm certainly not complaining because it makes training prayer a lot easier. Gonna take a quick break from the uh, imp grind just to do a little bit of prep for the crafting grind when we have got all the imps. So first things first, we need to come up here, take the chisel from this guy's house. Um, and that means we can um, cut all the gems which we're going to get, which we're going to buy from this young man here. Um, and then once we get to 20 crafting, it's just buying gems to get us to 43. Oh, sweet. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, I was expecting these to be uncut and not cut. So... Um, well, I guess we're stealing. Yeah, I assumed because we could steal uncut that he would sell uncut. Um, but I guess not. So, looks like we're going to be stealing all the way to 43 crafting. Well, as I come to terms with the fact that my grind has now just gotten a little bit longer, um, just going to steal some more nature runes. There's a nice consistency. Consistency is key, and I know that this isn't going to suddenly surprise me. The hardest thing about this grind is... Not the fact that the imps can hurt me, because they can't. I'm literally wearing a chef's hat and they can't hit me. It's not the fact that balls of wool are pretty rare. Um, what it is, in fact, is the fact that they keep teleporting away. And it's alright now, when I'm fighting near the Tower of Life, the amount of times I've been fighting on the edge of this chunk, and they teleport into the next chunk over, and I just in automatically follow them. Um... The, the account's ruined, is what I'm saying. Um, we've walked into the other chunks too many times. It keeps happening because these little bastards keep teleporting. Um, so yeah, chunk ruined, unfortunately. But um, we keep going. We, we, we move. It's a level I wasn't really expecting doing this chest, but uh, 81 thieving. That sort of tells you how many chests we've done since they're uh, 25 XP a chest. Yeah, 81 thieving. One of the weird things about doing this method is you actually get quite a lot of random events, so I think that is... Three Hunter. We're well on our way, boys. Okay, so we've slowly been working through our nature rune grind, um, and we've now got enough to get us to level 55. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that anymore, so that just means it's time to slaughter some imps. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? That's 60 strength. So when I'm not killing imps, I'm just going to be um, stealing gems from the gem stall just to get our stockpile up. We need quite a few, um, especially at the rates uh, that the gem stall gives. We need loads of sapphires. I mean, we'll get some of the others, but sapphires going to be our main one because that's what uh, the gem stall drops the most. Um, so if I'm not killing imps, I'm probably going to be stealing gems. Although I might do a bit of magic as well, just to prepare me just to do the ending a lot of just these ones but we're you know nearly a quarter of the way there so we are getting through it that is 50 magic that's snare and the term of fire and water um they're both a long way off i mean tome of water is what all the way down here and the tome of fire all the way up there so i don't think we'll be getting those anytime soon but 50 magic is uh Pretty good. Okay, so that is all of our non-symbol uh, alks done. Um, so that means that we've literally just got to worry about getting all these uh, strung and then alked, and then we'll have the magic level. So we're currently at 52 magic, and the remaining thousand or so will take us to 55. So while we're killing these imps, I think it's time for everyone's favorite segment, the future chunk checker where we take a look at all the potential chunks that we could roll. Now, we covered some of these the last time we did this in episode 2, and the big grind in each of these chunks is still the same. We've got the Torstol, the Hellhounds, Diamond Bolt Tips, and the Raking content on Karamja. Uh, the first change is from the Remington chunk, uh, 
because most of the grinds are the same as what I'm doing at the moment in the Tower of Life chunk, and this becomes another raking chunk, so essentially a free roll. Now the two remaining chunks are the ones that are going to last us a lot longer, so chunk 6 here gives us a nice variation of tasks, a couple of drops we need from the monsters in the clock tower dungeon, but the biggest grind is 70 farming to get poison ivy from the bush patch. Uh, but to get that we will need to rake to 48 farming, which while easy is very time consuming, so we don't want that yet, we'd rather have the Ardoin farm chunk first. But nothing compares to our final chunk. So this chunk requires some very high skill levels, including 68 smithing, 81 fishing, 90 mining, 91 cooking, and our first 99 on the account, construction, without a saw. So, fun fact about me is I've never had a 99 on this game, and so 99 construction, only from Fishing Trawler, will be an absolute fucking journey, let me tell you. Okay, so we've now killed 5,000 imps, still got a long way to go, but um, here's the loot for them so far. And yes, keep going. Okay, with that kill we've just hit 60 attack, so now we're going to move on to the defence. Um, I think that means if I do, heaven forbid if I roll the Zar chunk, yeah, I can wield obsidian weapons and dragon weapons, you know, the more important thing, but obsidian weapons in case we end up on Karamja. Okay, so here's something a little weird. Um, I've got an imp that I can't attack. I've got all these other imps around here. They're all highlighted, but for some reason that guy is not highlighted. If anyone knows why um, this is it's doing this, please, please do let me know, because why can I not attack him? That's so odd. Anyway, back to it. So that is 50 prayer. Now bless holy and unholy symbols. So, with uh, when we make those, um, we might be able to bless them. I think you need the book actually for that. But um, I think we're going to stop training our prayer now, just to sort of speed this grind up a bit. We're at about seven thousand kills at the moment, um, and it'll just make things a lot faster if we're not worrying about uh, collecting the ashes and scattering them. Another thing we're going to do to speed the grind up a bit is um, we're going to actually start combining these symbols as we get them um, just to boost our crafting level a bit so that means that when if we get any random events for the lamps we're just gonna use it on crafting just to speed up the grind a bit because we've still got a lot of kills to go and uh, sort of any little boost we can get to our XP definitely helps. Five crafting make gold rings now. Ten crafting make bow strings and crossbow strings, pretty useful. Um, I have got some flax here, um, I don't know where the nearest, oh, there's one nearest spinning wheels here, so once we unlock that we can actually maybe uh, train our range, because we can make a bow maybe, we'll see. So I've just used up all of our balls of wool for now, um, we're now at 12 crafting, um, so that basically means um, anytime we get a uh, lamp we're skipping 30 balls of wool. I mean, everyone was probably already shouting at me to use my lamps on crafting instead of doing this 4 XP at a time. Um, but now I am, just in order to... I mean, I might not get a, a lamp at all, but if I do, it makes this grind uh, a lot, lot faster. So this is what I mean by the uh, lamps helping us out a lot. So we got 120 crafting XP, whereas normally we would have got 10. So that's 30 balls of wool we don't have to deal with. Means we're now only one level away from 13 crafting, which is nice. And that is 15 crafting. Can now make some shit we're never going to use. Okay, so we just got 60 defense. So now our base 60 melees, 75 combat. Um, and yeah, we're about 9,500 hips down. So nearly 10,000. I'll probably do a little extra, like, oh, this is our loop from 10,000 when we get to 10,000. But, um,. We are nearly there, so it won't be long. And that is 60 hit points as well. Okay, so we've just done over 10,000 imps. Um, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're definitely more than halfway now, so uh, hopefully it won't take us too much longer. And with that imp killed, that is 15,000 implings down. I'll pop the loot on screen. Um, 
I think we've probably got less than a thousand left just because I've spent some of the lamps from uh, random events on crafting XP. So hopefully we'll be done uh, very, very shortly. I mean, obviously it's uh, no time for you guys, but for me it is taking its time. So we just got 65 strength. So with this ball of wool, the imp grind is officially complete. So I'll put up how many uh, imps we've killed on screen now. But yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be very long after we got the 15,000. Um, so it just means we just have to string these final, uh, final amulets and then we can focus on the gems. And there we go, 20 crafting. We can now cut sapphires and sapphire rings. One over, that's fine. So, here's some gems I stole earlier. So we're now just gonna start going through all these and get that crafting level up. And there we go, 43 crafting, can now cut diamonds. I'll do that quickly. Yeah, even though I've got a couple spare, I've got some. There, can I? Oh, yeah. Right. So, just to say I've done it, that is the diamond cut, and that is another task off the list. Just one more now, just the magic, which we've got everything for. So, we're gonna quickly do all that, and then we can roll the chunk. So, we've got all of our gems, I'm gonna hold on to them uh, for the fletching grind. They're just a little bit more XP, I think they're better than just having the money. And now we just need you, you, and all of these. And then we'll have 55 magic and we can get out of this chunk. And there we go, 55 magic, high level alchemy. I should probably take one, uh, one nature rune just to do it so I can uh, say I've done it. Um, do an iron mace. There we go, high level alchemy on the iron mace. And that is all of the tasks for this chunk completed. Nice uh, million coin cash stack again. So, I guess that means it's time to roll. So, here we are in the chunk picker. So, obviously, been through what all of the chunks are sort of uh, going to do for us. Um, but I have added some little symbols, like on number five here. Given the construction symbol because that's going to be a 99 and then for number three here that's the hellhounds that's what that skull represents just it's a very big grind in front of us but um without further ado let's just let's just pick don't think i'll do a, a roll this time i don't know if i can do the heartbeat bit every single time so three two one Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> it's like it's 99 construction for us, just from fishing trawler. Well, <laughs> well indeed. Anything left to do is unlock it. As we step into this death chunk. Let's see what it's got to offer us. Yeah. Maybe in the next episode I'll show what it's got to us. Leave you all wanting more. And speaking of leaving you wanting more, that's where I'm going to end this episode. So we finally beat the Tower of Life chunk. Looking at our playtime. Ten days, six hours. So we spent even longer in this chunk than we did in the first one. And I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to be spending even longer in this next chunk. Next episode we're going to explore this new chunk, have a proper look at all of our tasks and see how much trouble I'm actually going to be in. So thank you all for watching, the response to the first few videos is so much more than I could have ever hoped for. Um, while I was recording this episode I hit uh, 1k subs uh, and that does really mean a lot to me. Um, so thank you again, uh, thank you all for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.